Hey, my good friend, and welcome back to the Morning Minute Meditation. It is that time of year again. We're, you know, we're headed toward, uh, you know, toward fall and uh, some some times of just beautiful, beautiful weather, uh, great crisp mornings, and then of course we get to chase these uh, these deer whitetail. I love whitetail hunting, and of course there's an old elk on the wall too. But I love this time of year. And to be in this time of year, hunting is a wonderful thing. I love chasing big big trout with a fly rod. That is a passion of mine as well. But to, to, you know, to, to go after these white-tailed deer is something just, for me, is special. And I love it with all my heart. Well, <clears throat> my boys and I, my grandsons, I mean, it's a family tradition to shoot deer and skin them out and put them in the freezer and sit around and eat fresh tenderloin on the smoker. Man, it's a wonderful, wonderful thing. But here I am in the, in the study this morning thinking about this passion that we have for this. And I'm reminded of 2 Timothy 2.26, uh, and that they may recover themselves out of the snare of the devil who are taken captive by him at his will. Uh, Satan is a trapper. He's a hunter, and he comes after us with one uh, one goal, and uh, that goal is to wreck, ruin, destroy our life, and, uh, and to annihilate our testimony, ruin our family. And he's done a good job of it through the years with not just laymen, but with preachers alike. You know, when we're hunting deer, we find out where they're at. We don't, we don't hunt deer on the interstate. Uh, though you see a few killed there, we don't hunt them there. We hunt them in their habitat. We go where they're at. We find out what they like, the, the streams they like to drink at, the places where they like to bed, what they like to eat. And we perch above them in the trees, whether we're hanging from a tree saddle or in a good summit stand. We, we're there for the purpose of taking their life and taking them home with us. And those who get to be very big learn how to avoid the trap. Those who become great and mature learn how to avoid the trap. Hey. Have you learned to avoid Satan's trap? I suggest that you do that before it costs you more than you have to pay. Think on these things today, friend, and have a great bow season. I hope you air a nice one. Send me a picture. Send me a slab of tenderloin. We'll eat it, praise God. Hey, have a great week. God bless you, friend.